Let's look at the next example has numbers and variables in it. So you basically just kind of separate them and deal with them uh, each individually and then put, it, put them together at the end. So I have square root of 72 and then to the 7. So we're going to separate. We have square root of 72, then square root of n to the 7. Okay. So this one, I can recognize that this is 36 times 2, perfect square times something else. And this one, in the indices is 2 here, 7 does not divide by 2, so I'm going to write it as n to the 6 times n to the 1. Right, so you want to you know, separate it, find like two numbers that are up to 7, and this is like the highest possible number lower than 7 that's divisible by 2. Okay, so we have square root of 36 is 6, and then the 2 stays inside the radical. For this, the n's, I do n to the 6 divided by 2, which is 3, and then square root of n. So let's kind of, basically now what we do is sort of we bring these numbers together that came out of the radical, all right? And these ones, the stained inside the radical, you bring them together too. So we have 6, absolute value of n cubed, right in front, and then square root of 2n. So can we put these back together inside one radical sign? There we go. Uh, let's look at B. Cube root 24 x to the 7. We have cube root of 24, cube root of x to the 7. All right, any perfect cubes in here? I know 8 is a perfect cubed, so I could do cube root of 8 times 3. For this one, 7 does not divide by 3, but 6 does. So I'm going to say x to the 6 times x to the 1. All right? Okay, so cube root of 8 is 2. This 3 has to stay inside, so I'm going to have cube root of 3. Cube root of x to the 6 is x to the 2, because you do 6 divided by 3. And, but this one has to stay inside. Okay, so. This stays inside the radical, that stays inside the radical. So we have cube root of x to the 1. All right, now take these, put them in front, so 2x squared, and take these together, this one and this one, and put them under one radical. So cube root of 3x. There we go. All right, let's look at part C. Okay, so we're going to stitch this up. All right, so part C, fourth root of 80y to the 14. So fourth root of 80, fourth root of y to the 14. I'm going to do a factor tree on this one. So 2 and 40, 2 and 20, 2 and 10, 2 and 5. Okay? All right. So what I can see here, so I'm looking at a fourth and in the index of 4. So basically I'm looking at putting groups of 4 together. All right, so we have fourth root of 2 to the 4 times 5 to the 1. All right, that's good. All right. Now with the y, fourth root, the 14 doesn't divide by 4, but 12 does. So I'm going to separate these as y to the 12 times y to the 2. All right. So these I can do, the division, like 4 divided by 4. So I get 2 to the 1, but the 5 will stay inside the fourth root. These I can do the division. So I have y to the 
12 divided by 4 is 3, but these will stay, so 4 is root of y to the 2. All right, let's bring these together, so I have 2y cubed, and bring these together, 4th root of 5y squared. There we go, that's our simplified answer.